Hi. In a local electronics store I found this thingy. It was a special discount. Normally it was about 40 euros, but now it was 2 euros. So, I couldn't resist to buy it. Because maybe there's some interesting parts in it. What is it? It's the PowerMed wireless charger. It charges your iPhone 3, 3S wirelessly. This is a case and there's some kind of receiver in it and on the back there's a transmitter for the wireless power. So let's open it and let's see what's inside. Well what's inside? As I said the transmitter. What does it say on the back? 18 volt 1 amp. Designed for iPhone 3G and 3GS. Well interesting. Power mat. Model number I think there's some screws on here, well, nothing else. It's quite heavy though. And this, this is the iPhone case. I think here, well this is the antenna I think. Remove case and phone each service. Yeah, they'll throw it away for you. <laughs> iPhone connector. What's it, oh, yeah, that's interesting. Micro USB. So there is the cable for it, because otherwise you have to take it out of here if you want to connect it to the computer. That's interesting. There's some dock connector, converter, oh, hmm. and one charger, power mat. What does it say? Uh, output 18 volts, 834 milliamps. That's a strange rating, but it needs one amp. Well, well, shouldn't do a thing. Switching! Well, interesting for one other experiment. Well, let's take, first of all, let's take apart the receiver. Well, it doesn't come open that easy. I broke it already. Well, I, I don't have an iPhone anyway, so doesn't matter, but I want to see what's inside. I need a hair dryer. Well, that was a hard time opening it. So, what did I found? This was inside. So, looks interesting. Some kind of antenna on two sides of the PCB. Test points, asymmetric. Well, I looked it down, but I couldn't find it, so. There's no schematics on it, so that's a shame. But this was the connector. Unfortunately, this one goes on here, loop in the PCB and goes back. So I couldn't plug this in my iPod. So well, it does fit, but it doesn't it only works when it's on here. So that's something. Well, there are some chips on it. Maybe we can see it, but I don't see it. It's too too hard. Well, it's something from Fairchild. Maybe we can see it, but it's too hard. It's too small. Well, the other one. MA2CB. MA2CE it says, so I looked that down it's some kind of uh, unclassified but a pa some kind of complex power management chip I think there's also some signal processing or something because it sends some signal back to the uh, receiver uh, that it's, it's on place well, some extra chips, I don't know what that is, it's too small. Some transistors, some yeah, capacitors and other passive things. There's another very, very small chip there. Well, it says E C, so I don't know what it is, but it's near the connector. I think it's some kind of interface thing. But, well, yeah, it looks interesting. At the back, there's nothing there. 
So, let's see what happens if we place it on the uh, 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 re uh, transmitter. Uh, well, yeah, there was some... Yeah, the black thing you see here, it's the, the, the core ferrite. So, yeah, it, it was placed on here. So, I think if we have it here and place it on the transmitter, maybe there's something. Well, let's plug it in. Let's see. Oh, there's some sound. That's nice. Well, let's see. What happens? Ah! It works. So, maybe... If I connect it, but I do have an iPod. Maybe I can charge with it. Well, let's see. Well, I did place it on my iPod. Well, let's see. It doesn't look that good, but yeah, why not? Let's see. Well, ah, well, would you look at that? It works. How nice. Well, it does work, even when I opened it, so I didn't broke it, break it. Okay, interesting, but yeah, it doesn't look very... Oh yeah, I can now I can try the micro USB connection. Hmm, let's see. Ah, that's an interesting sound. And it works. That's interesting. Well, cable's too short, so. <laughs> well, I do not have a scope. But I want to know what the frequency is which is transmitting on. So, I made some kind of antenna. So I can read it out, about 356 kilohertz. So, yeah, it does. And when I take it off, uh, 17 kilohertz when it's off. So I think it listens to, oh, and it's gone. Oh. Oh, there it is again, 356.9. Well, that's that. I can do something with a radio. Well, I do not have a scope, but I want to listen to the uh, signal. And well, I connected it to my uh, the antenna to my uh, amplifier, so we can listen. We can listen to it. Well, see. You can hear some kind of sound. I think the the receiver produced that sound and sent it back to the uh, transmitter. So some sign of signal. I found, I'm here. I'm here. Let's take it off. Well, oh yeah. Well now it's looking for the device. Oh, and I heard some kind of electronic acknowledgement or something. Leap! Leap! So, too bad I don't have a scope, so I can't read it, but... It sent some signal. Alright, well, interesting. So I opened it, the transmitter. Ah, now no why it's heavy. Some kind of metal here, so it wouldn't slip away when you put on the uh, the iPhone. So, right. Well, what's in here? Let's see. What is this? I hope for the focus. 
my cans. Yeah, it's monolithic power systems, an MP8040 DN. It's a power switch. A half bridge power driver for the for the coil what's in, beneath here. So, well, interesting parts. What is this one? An MX MKA4. Well, it's a capacitor coupled isolator. It's used to separate out the control signal from the uh, sinusoidal charge current. So, a control signal like what we heard uh, on the on the speakers. Well, interesting. So it takes out the uh, the, the signals from uh, from the the receiver. Hmm, nice. Okay, interesting. This one. Ah, a five 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 timer. This produces the uh, the high frequency uh, uh, signal. That's an old one. Wow, it's still used. Okay. Well, oh, some capacitors, the speaker for the sound we heard. There are some coils, DC to DC converters. One very small. I don't know, is it a 2T24? Well, I don't know what it is, but um, on the place, on the PCB, I think it's some kind of power regulator, as, as, as is this one. Well, another coil and another coil. So I think it's, yeah, some kind of a power regulator. Well, this is a big one. What is it? What does it say? Come on with the focus. Upside down. Play. I can't read it. Wow, it's an EEPROM made by D Plus Integrated Circus Incorporated. It's a, an AP8921A uh, EEPROM. So there's some uh, some software in it. Well. Then this one is a processor or something. It's a CMOS 512K 256K kilobits EEPROM. And there's a, a voice signal uh, programmed in it. 6 kilohertz sampling of 4 bit compression. Possible for 12 voice groups, combination of voices blocks. So this has some signal uh, uh, programmed in, which uh, it sends to the uh, uh, the receiver, and then and maybe it's also well at the uh, place in here. There's the, this uh, speaker, so it's also I think the speaker uh, signals with it uh, when it's placed and taken off. It's coming from here, so okay, interesting part. And uh, this, well, well, that's it. Well, let's look at the uh, at the uh, antenna. Well, that was hard to take it uh, take it out. It has some two sides tape. There's the core with the old metal here, and when you see, I think it's twice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's twice as more uh, uh, turns as the receiver so I think well yeah it fits well that's interesting all right so so when it does it does uh, uh, when you turn it on there's 18 volts coming here uh, or DC to DC converter it's one amp so about 18 watts it's a lot, but well, yeah, it produces some uh, 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 synodial uh, signal at five uh, three hundred fifty-six uh, kilohertz, 
with uh, some uh, uh, signals with it so that the receiver will uh, answer and then it charges yeah I don't know if it uh, also has some uh, um, um, to do with the uh, iPhone that you can uh, read it out or something but, uh, I don't know the, the manual says you can change the volume and things so I think it it does but yeah there it is the power mat inside so if you have any questions or some some uh, input for me uh, put it below in the uh, comments so thank you for watching